Hello guys, here I am today. We're talking about another. I'm gonna be making another video talking about um breastfeeding. So, you know, I'm gonna talk all things breastfeeding. Um I breastfed when my first child, I think about a month, I tried. And then when my second child, I breastfed for about a week because <laughs> it became complicated. <laughs> So one thing about breastfeeding is that um, it's good to study beforehand about, you know, breastfeeding and stuff like that. That way you can be prepared because a lot of stuff that happens is kind of like you didn't know. <laughs> um, one thing I noticed about when I was, well, when I started breastfeeding or even before I started breastfeeding, um, one thing you notice is probably like on your third trimester right before you have your child um sometimes a little bit of uh like milk starts coming out it's not too much milk it's just you know a little bit of like residue or something like that it's not enough to you know you know put in a cup or anything like that <laughs> but um you start feeling you know a little bit of uh of, of milk coming out here and there and then you might wet your shirt a little bit and um, you know you might wake up one morning and have a little spot on your shirt or something you don't wear a bra when you go to sleep or something or <laughs> you walk around without a bra around the house um, but I noticed that when I went to sleep and I woke up I would have like a little wet spot so after I had my baby um, what I experienced after that was that, um, you know, the first step was um, bringing my baby to, to latch on to my nipple. And um, with my first child, it wasn't easy at all. Um, they gave me a little uh, nipple shield to kind of try to help my son um, latch on to the nipple or latch on, you know, get some milk some kind of way. And uh, the first step you got to do is like as soon as you have your baby, you got to put that baby, try to feed that baby breast milk so it could get that connection quickly and um, it could get used to eating your breast milk and not formula because, you know, when you're first giving a baby um, breast milk, you can't feed them formula. Especially if you want to be mainly breast milk, because once they, you know, you start giving them the bottle, they start getting used to that nipple on that bottle, and they start treating that, your nipple, like a nipple on the bottle, and those are two different kinds of nipples, and if they start drinking um, your nipple, like the bottle, it's going to start hurting and um, bruising your uh, nipples. So, you know, I got them. Um, I tried to latch my mom when I couldn't. Um, what happened after that was that, um, they had to call a doc, uh, they had to call a, a nurse in and try to help me out and stuff. They gave me a nipple shield and stuff. And, you know, that kind of helped, but it's, it hurt it at the same time. And I was like, man, this, this is, <laughs> this is not comfortable. <laughs> And um, later on, years later, I find out that um, there's different sizes of nipple shields. So they probably got me one that was too small. Um, that's another thing that you need to know, that there's different sizes of nipple shields. And people really don't know about that. And um, I didn't even know about that until my second child. So, yeah, you know, find your nipple shield that works and not is going to hurt. Like, for real. It's going to feel like somebody pinching your nipples really hard. <laughs> So, I got that to happen. Um, he was sucking on it, but it hurt it really bad. Um, and they told me to keep trying it, keep trying it. Um, that uh, eventually, you know, try to try to make him suck on your nipple too. Um, like move the nipple shield and then get him to latch on and try to uh, suck your nipple at the same time. And um, that didn't seem to work um you know the three days uh 
after. Well, at a certain point with him, I got tired. And I was like, can y'all please give me, like, breast milk? Because, like, I was in the hospital for three days. So, um, the baby kept waking up and stuff. And at a certain point, it was kind of like, I was trying to give him breast milk. It's just too much. It, I was like, oh, I need to get some rest. This is just hard. Like, you know, when you give the bottle, you know, your husband can help out and you can go to sleep or something like that. And I'm like, I just really had this baby. I, all I want to do is some rest, get some rest. So, um, you know, uh, my husband, you know, uh, we had, they eventually gave me the milk. At first, they were like, um, they, didn't want to, they didn't recommend the milk to me or whatever. And um, eventually they gave me the milk and I was feeding my baby the formula. So, you know, I was feeding them that and I was breastfeeding at the same time. And then the other thing that they make you do is, you know, document all that information. And you know, at a certain point I was like, I don't feel like doing this, like y'all doing too much. <laughs> I just want to feed my baby. <laughs> I know to feed them almost every single hour. I know that. Why do I need to document it? I'm not an irresponsible mother like these other people. Um, so I was like, uh, can I just feed them every single hour and not have to document it and all that? So, you know, that happened. Um, they kept waking up, of course, like a baby should. But um, at least my husband could feed them and then I could stay asleep for it, you know. I could feed them and my husband could stay asleep and stuff like that. Um, with my second child, um, I didn't get a chance to do all that. Um, they didn't, they wouldn't give me the the formula for nothing. They'd be like, no, you, you don't need no formula. And um, uh, uh, you have to, we have to sign it out out of the, the, the hospital in order for you to get the formula. It was just, I was like, I just want formula. You have it right there. Just give it to me. <laughs> so, um, these two incidents were in different hospitals. Um, so, the first hospital, I feel like they weren't that, the lactation uh, consultant, she wasn't that helpful. She just kind of told me what to do. And I was kind of like, okay. <laughs> um, the nurse kind of tried to help me out, but, you know, she, uh, her job is not to do that. You know, she just trying to help out, but I feel like a lactation consultant should have helped me out more. Um, for my second child, the lactation consultant was very helpful. Like she was all in there, like grabbing my nipple and putting the baby's mouth in my mouth. It was just the whole craziness. Then at some point she was over there squeezing my, my nipples, <laughs> my breasts. So I'm like, oh my God, you have so much milk. She was like, this is crazy. Um, they don't call it milk, they call it something else, the yellow stuff, I, I forgot what it's called. It's been a while. But she was like, oh my God, this is so crazy. And she was just like squeezing and squeezing my breast. And I was like, lady, I am not a cow. Like, can you leave my breast alone? <laughs> And she was going away at it. And I was like, oh, Lord. And then she was teaching me how to uh, feed the baby with, like, a syringe, like a, a, a little small syringe that was skinny enough to where he couldn't fill it. But I could still feed him. And then she told me just to put my finger in his mouth to make it seem like it's, it's my nipple. And he was still, you know, felt like he eating nipple. And my skin, you know, get that concept. So, um... You know, uh, with him, I need, um, I just try to breastfeed the whole time, which I, I feel like it was harder for me to do. Um, but once I got home, oh, another thing, um, they provided a breast pump for me, a handheld breast pump, which was good. I was like, oh, yes, thank you. Um, you know, a breast pump is a pretty good idea, especially when you're trying to, like, hurry up and take out the milk out your breast. Um, that's one of the best options to go to. Um, once I got home, you know, um, the milk was just, like, you know, once your milk comes in, it's just, with my experience, it was just so much milk. It was ridiculous. And then, um, 
you can't like empty out your breast because if you empty it out, your your breasts are gonna think that it's time to fill up again. So you can't completely um, empty out your breast. You have to empty it out like to a certain amount to where your breast still think you know your mind and your breast you know because it all works together. Your breast will think you know oh there's still milk in here let's let's slow down. But if you empty it out you're it's going to pour right back in. So I had the problem with it was just pouring and pouring and pouring. And I would get to the point where I would put like, like bath towels, like on my breast. And like, even those were filling up with milk. Like I would take out the bath towels and it would just be scorching with milk. I would be like, oh my God, I don't even feel like breastfeeding anymore. <laughs> I was like, my baby can't latch onto my nipple. This milk is coming out like, like crazy. Um, my nipples hurt. My breasts hurt because your breasts engorge with milk if you don't take them out. Take out the milk soon enough. Because with my first child, I didn't have no breast pump, so I was basically to the point where, you know, I wasn't taking out the milk fast enough. And the milk was producing so much that like I was getting like little balls on the side of my breast and like I could feel all the milk and supposedly if you leave all that milk in there you could get some kind of bacterial infection or something I was like ugh um so yeah my paint my breast basically looked like implants and like the really bad implants where it just looks like two balls just underneath skin that's how my breast looked God, and the veins were just like coming all through the sides and stuff it just it looked painful and it was to the point where I couldn't even lift up my arms at certain times because it felt like as soon as I lift on my arms I feel like a little stretch on my breath and I was like oh this is just so much um so eventually I was able to uh to you know go ahead and you know eventually uh just let go of breastfeeding um i didn't do no special method i just you know just stopped and uh, of course my breast got engorged really bad and eventually the milk just stopped reproducing and after i stopped uh breastfeeding it took like about a month or two or maybe three for it to stop <laughs> like completely stop the milk without you know little small leaks because at first it was still leaking like regularly and then also when you're like having sex and stuff like that it's like the milk is coming out <laughs> comes out because i guess like you're aroused and stuff so the milk starts pouring out and like you might get some on your partner, <laughs> which you really don't want to do. But, um, yeah, I was like, this is just a hot mess. Um, for my second pregnancy, I did buy, like, the um, uh, nipple pads or something for your nipples. So when they, um, when they start spilling over, you know, the, the pad grabs it. And then it kind of has it shut, like, on your nipples. Um and um i will use the, the the strongest one and it actually did pretty good with the leaking so i was really glad about that with my second pregnancy in my first pregnancy i was just using whatever i could get my hands on i will use uh <laughs> i would use some crazy stuff i'll use diapers i will use pads i will use uh like period pads um towels toilet paper um just anything like i was i was just like it's just coming out like i don't know what to do <laughs> so with my second pregnancy um somebody for the baby shower bought me the little um circular uh nipple uh pads nursing pads there you go nursing pads and um they bought me like a whole pack of them and you know i saved them up so after i had my baby and you know that pack was very essential and um they were the one of the strongest ones like the there's like you know how like basically period pads have like regular and super and blah 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 
um, that's basically the same thing with the nursing pads. You know, you have the, the, the regular, then you got the strong, and then you got the super strong or whatever. And um, I have, I basically have the super strong. And it kept me dry, like real tight, like, and they way better than towels and all of that other stuff. Um, so it helped out a lot. Um, I don't have to change them like, every so often, like, um, it's like about, almost like pads, like every five hours, eight hours or something like that. And, um, not like the towels, I'll have to be changing them like almost every three hours or two hours sometimes. I will just lay down and just milk start coming out. <laughs> and the towel would get filled up. And I was like, oh no, not this again. And the worst part about it, it was my first son. Um, he was born in May, so it was like kind of hot at around that time. So, like, you know, I was sweating and then milk coming out. That's not a good idea. That's not all good. And then you have this big old, like, towel or something trying to, which makes it even more hotter. So, um, Definitely get some nursing pads. I will suggest that. You know, get some nursing pads. Get a breast pump. Um, get a nipple shield that's your size, definitely. And, uh, you know, get all the information you can about nursing, definitely. You know, every, you know, information that you can possibly get will actually help you out and you won't be surprised by anything, you know. So, this is my video. I won't keep talking because I will. <laughs> so, um, thanks for watching and subscribe and, you know, keep watching my videos. And also like this video and comment down below. See if y'all had any experiences like me with breastfeeding or whatever. Or if you're a new mom and, you know, you're worried about it, you know, you could ask me a question. And I'll try my best to answer it with my experience with my two kids. So, um, yep, that's all. Bye.